Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kirsty and I make psychic and spiritual content over here. So if you are new, come and join us. We would love to have you as part of our lovely community. I cannot believe we're here. I am reacting to my 2022 world and celebrity psychic predictions. So if you do enjoy this video, please do hit a lovely thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video for anyone who you feel may enjoy it. And if you'd like your own personal or private reading with me, you can book that on my website, which is the only place you can book a reading with me, www.kirstylewis.com. And I'll leave that link somewhere in the description. Yeah, the description box and the comments below. <laughs> Let's get into reacting to my readings. I can't believe we're here. We are reacting to my 2022 predictions. Let's do it, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I've got here is we are collectively coming out the other side of transition. We as a collective have been through a major transition with COVID. So um, in the beginning of, so life before COVID 2019, and beginning of 2020 we were in a very structured society spirit is showing me like a pyramid you know people at the top people at the bottom we're still in that but we are shifting okay and we had to almost go through covid and everything we went through and everything it, it exposed to expose all of the inequalities and so many inequalities have been exposed now and because of that, as a result, things are going to shift. Structures are going to change. Life as we know it, I don't know if you remember this, but many moons ago, I can remember being probably around like 16, 17, and people talking about a new world order. We are moving into that, but I think it's actually going to be positive for the people rather than a negative situation. People are... Okay, so very, very, very interesting. 2022 has been really a year of restructure for our world. We are seeing a lot of things exposed in terms of corruptness, um, indecencies, um, ways that aren't working, ways that aren't working and especially here in the UK with the crises that we're experiencing, I don't know what it's like around the rest of the world to be honest, but here in the UK we are really seeing the, um, the greediness of our government and the corruptness and the I don't really know what what else I can say on that the um the corruptness the way they are taking and taking and taking and basically robbing the people and I feel like that will actually continue in 2023 but what I do feel as we move into 2023 is a lot more light this year has been very, it's been a really interesting year. It's been one where we have seen a lot of exposure, but I feel like there's been a bit of hopelessness where people don't really know what they can do about it. Whereas in 2023, we're gonna come back to community, which is so amazing because we are tribal. As humans, we are tribal. And we have been individualized and, and torn apart, but I feel like we're gonna see a lot of community-based efforts come back so that we as a people come together where they're trying to tear us apart. Hi lovely, thank you so much for watching so far. Did you know that 51% of you are not subscribed to this channel? 51%! Please do subscribe, it helps me to keep running this channel, to keep making this kind of content and we would love to have you as part of our lovely community. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, it's entirely free and you'll be updated whenever I upload videos just like this one. Thank you so much. Finally realising that you don't have to listen to governments. We don't need governments. We can actually rise up as people and we deserve to have voices. So I feel like that's that was the realization in 2022 that we don't need governments and we don't need it. I feel like more people have awoken to that. Um, but 2023 is gonna actually see action on that. We've had the realization, but now it's about moving forward with it. The direction we're moving in, it's more of an energy of like power to the people. Uh, the people are taking their power back. and. Don't be surprised if more outrageous things happen, like the energy rises and things like that that are happening while politicians are getting pay rises and the wages in the UK haven't risen, but <laughs> but the politicians' uh, wages have, but our energy bills are rising. All of these kind of things that are exposing all of these inequalities, they will keep happening until we as a collective start standing up to the people in power. So yes, we're coming out the other side of transition. And so the real question you want to be asking yourself as you move into 2022 and the energy is, who are you now? 
who are you now on the other side of transition? Because I can speak for myself, I am not the same person I was when we went into COVID. I, I am laughing because that's exactly what this year was for me. I feel like this year for me, I don't know about any of you, but it was a real re-establishing moment for me. Who am I? What do I want? Who do I want around me? I cut off friendships this year. Um, I really set firm values in terms of boundaries, what I will accept and what I won't accept. A lot of that this year, like re-establishing my roots, laying the foundations. Absolutely. Okay, so I sat with Spirit and obviously I picked up on a few things, celebrity and world predictions, but they're really random things. So forgive me, obviously I will do more predictions throughout the year. These are really just here, there and everywhere. But just as I sat down, um, Spirit did mention to me, and also earlier after I did these notes, they talked about Mariah Carey and they talked about her getting married. So I feel like she may be getting married this year. But also on a separate note, they talked about Nick Cannon and Nick Cannon's mental health. And um, he may just, uh, Nick Cannon, uh, he'd be a fascinating reading actually. I'd really love to do a reading on Nick Cannon, but I feel like he needs to look after his mental health because he could end up re rehabilitated this year um, if he doesn't, you know, take time for himself because I feel like he's self-destructing and distracting and not really dealing with the emotions that he's going through obviously he had he had a tragic loss um and spirit just made me feel like he hasn't processed that so they brought both of those two things through um, so Mariah Carey as far as I know is not engaged I don't even know if she's in a relationship Nick Cannon as far as I know hasn't gone to rehab or anything like that but I do think as 2023 unravels he may continue to um well i feel like there's more babies coming but it, he won't be able to i feel like he's almost running from himself and it's like he is gonna it's it's gonna he's gonna catch up with himself like he can't run forever basically that's what i feel the other thing i picked up on absolutely ages ago and i wrote it in my notes was um there's an engagement coming for kehlani and i feel like it could be to a woman um, I don't know if she's in a relationship with a woman now, but I feel like it's a, it's a, um, union with a woman and I feel like she's going to get engaged. I also put in my notes on my phone, but I didn't write it down here that there is, um, Karma coming in for, is his name Scooter Bronson? Scooter Bronson, I can't remember what his name is. The one who took Taylor Swift's music, um, him. <laughs> I can't remember what his name is. I feel like he could get some revenge this year. We could finally see Britney come out and speak this year, like sit down, do an interview, do a documentary. There's something being created by her um, that she's going to share with the world um, where we can actually see from her point of view and hear her own voice about what she's actually been through. So as far as I know, Kalani is not engaged, but I do think she had a relationship with a woman. I'm not sure about Scooter Bronson because I don't follow him, so I don't know if that actually happened, but I'm sure I would have heard about it if it did, so I don't think that happened either. Brittany, we are yet to see... Well, she did do an... In she has spoken out a lot more, but that's a whole nother reading um, because there's so much going on there. So we have, but have we? Question marks over Britney Spears. I'm not sure. I picked up that there's a rival company coming in for Netflix. So Netflix has been literally the dominant kind of um, entertainment what would you call them an entertainment platform for a while now okay we have disney plus but it's not the same it's not the same i don't feel like they really rival each other there is a rival i feel coming in for netflix like a very similar product um it's so funny that i said not disney plus because it was disney plus disney plus as far as i'm aware took the top um, space that Netflix was holding in, in terms of um, online viewing platform, I don't know what you call them. Um, yeah, it was Disney Plus. So yeah, Netflix kind of lost its its peak and its rival is Disney Plus. Um, so yeah, it's funny I should have said that. Um, for all of my UK lovelies, Sphere actually told me we're going to have a really hot summer, <laughs> which is insane. I don't know why, like I said, completely random this year. And that's another thing. That's another... I have to stop that then. 
we had the hottest summer in the UK ever and I actually remember that coming through and being like yeah sure the heat in the UK this summer I'm sure a lot of you will remember even if you're not from the UK was unbearable it got to 40 something degrees I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit but it was so hot it was it was a bit scary to be honest because it was like oh uh, it yeah it was the hottest summer that's been recorded for a long 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 time a long long time it was ridiculous um so yeah that ha that came true Meghan Markle's energy came through and I feel like she's writing a book um a tell all book um explaining obviously everything that happened with her and the royal family and everything she went through and I also feel like she's getting the opportunity to either host on a TV show, have her own TV show, there's some connection to Meghan Markle this year and a TV show so keep an eye out for that because I feel like she's returning to the entertainment business this year. I see a, a lost interesting so the book didn't come from Meghan, the book came from Harry so that's really really interesting but obviously they just had the Netflix show so yeah and I don't feel like that's the last we'll see of them either I feel like there's more to come completely. A lawsuit coming in for TikTok I feel like it's going to be from actually one of the um, content creators on the platform um, it may be a male actually so yeah keep an eye out for that. Um, then we got into the Kardashians I feel like can we do a prediction without tapping into the Kardashians I don't believe so. So I picked up that Kourtney Kardashian is actually going to get married this year and I picked up on July for that. I feel like there's a baby boy for Kylie. I feel like she's going to have a boy. Kim meets a more mature man. No reconciliation with Kanye. So I feel like um, Kim and Pete will demise. Um, that's not a long lasting relationship. I don't even know if it's a real relationship. I'll be entirely honest with you. It feels PR based to me. Um, and... I feel like, I spoke about this in Kim Kardashian's, um, one of the readings I did for her, I spoke about her um, going on and being with an, a more mature man who's quite knowledgeable and quite smart and I feel like she will be with him this year. I feel like she could actually get married again to this man, not this year but I feel like this is a man she could marry. Um, I also got in connection with the Kardashians that Scott Disick, similarly to Nick Cannon, is depressed, like heavily depressed, and he could be hospitalised. I picked up on that this um, for the energy of this year, so he just needs to very much... Okay, was it this year that Courtney got married? Or did Courtney get married last year? Well, it couldn't have been last year, or I would have predicted it. So yeah, I guess Courtney got married this year. Um, okay, so got that. Obviously, Kim and Pete split. I still don't believe that was a real relationship. I still very much believe that was PR. Um, and Kylie had a baby boy. So, yeah. What will 2023 hold for the Kardashians? What we know. And as far as I know, Scott is, is not in rehab either. So... I also picked up that it is the end of the real or the view. Spirit showed me both. It could be both. But I lean more towards the real. The Real did end this year, um, I think I remember picking that up as well, I did a Read the Room for them too, um, and I'll leave that below, anyone I, I talk about here I will leave their readings down below if I have read for them, yeah, The Real did end this year, um, so yeah. When actually, as I tap into that, I feel like Adrian could have a pregnancy this year as well actually, Spirit's showing me that, so that's really lovely as well, there's a baby coming in to Adrian's life, it could be adoption or it could be surrogacy. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that, a lot of these I can remember, like yeah I remember set, I remember picking that up, I don't remember picking up on Adrian's surrogacy, so that's crazy because Adrian did um, have a baby this year via surrogacy, so that is crazy that I picked that up, but super happy for her because we know she wanted to be a mum for a really long time. I picked up on an engagement for Jordan Woods, okay? I really wanted to read on Jordan Woods and her boyfriend, I can't remember what his name is, um, before Christmas, but I just didn't do it, I can't remember why, but um, I'd love to read on them as well, so if you'd like to see that let me know, but I do think she's going to be engaged this year because that did come through. Um, I picked up on a new album coming for Kendrick Lamar this year. It's going to be very, very powerful. I feel like he's going to win a lot of awards from this album. It's a standout album. Um, so yeah. 
Kendrick Lamar did have a new album. I still haven't listened to it and I can't remember... Well, I keep saying, it was it this year? But it must have been this year because it wasn't before then, was it? <laughs> um, so yeah, but I don't know if he won any awards for it, but I, I have heard it be talked of quite highly, so yeah. As I've just t tapped into that and, and unanticipated music, I mean anticipated music, Miss Rihanna. I feel like we could see some music from Rihanna this year as well. That will make a lot of you happy because I know a lot of you miss her music. I said this when I read for Rihanna. Um, I don't feel like she'll come back to music permanently. I feel like she is kind of done with it. She's opened up a new chapter in her life. But again, I feel like... Um, I mean, I did pick up on her pregnancy for Rihanna and there was the rumours going around. Um, but I still do feel a baby for her. Okay, I still do feel that around her, but I also pick up on a return to music for her this year. And when she does come, it's obviously going to be huge. But um, she's not staying, so don't, you know, don't get too excited. She's When she comes, appreciate what she brings because she's not staying in the music field. It's Rihanna did come back to the music industry. She um, released Lift Me Up for Wakanda forever um so yeah and it was a, a real moment because I feel like it was so unexpected and it was powerful and it was beautiful but I still stand by that she's not staying and as we know she did have the baby which I did predict in her um individual reading as well so yeah okay this year when it comes to movies is the year of sequel announcements so lots of two like second follow-ups and third follow-ups to films lots of remakes of movies announced this year so i feel like actually this year might be quite quiet on the movie front because i feel like this is the year that really actually films are getting back into being produced and made obviously a lot of things came to a halt with covid um but i now feel like it's picking up and i feel like there'll be a lot of announcements made this year hocus pocus 2 is coming out OMG, I'm so excited. So that's just one example, but I feel like there's going to be more, especially in the Disney field. It's interesting because look how excited I was. I wish I could go back to that excitement of Hocus Pocus 2 before I watched it. I was thoroughly disappointed. Um, yeah, so Hocus Pocus 2 came, we had Disenchanted. Um, I think there were some other sequels because I just said specifically in the Disney realm we're going to see sequels and I feel like we did see a few, not a ton, but definitely a few. New Tesla car coming now. Spirit made me feel like this is going to be like some kind of groundbreaking car. I don't know if it flies or what it does, but there's something it does that no other car has done before. So keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure about that either. Again, I don't follow Tesla. I don't follow Elon Musk. So I don't know. Okay, next I have newly leaked news about Area 51 by a social media star. Now... For the conspiracy queen I am, Area 51 is not really my area of like expertise. I don't really know about it. And so although I'm sure that people have broken into Area 51 before, I think, I don't know. Let me know. I feel like someone is actually going to break in and share the stuff online. And I feel like it's going to be a big deal. Especially if you're into conspiracy and that kind of thing. Do you know what? I need to do more conspiracy theory readings, but the problem is the tube doesn't like conspiracy. I wonder why. Um, but an Area 51 reading would be amazing. As far as I know, that didn't happen. Um, as far as I know. Um, we are getting to the end now. So, um, Spirit then also brought R. Kelly through to me. Now, weirdly enough, I've been seeing him like pop up just in random conversations and like online and stuff. I'm like, I picked up that some of his cases may either be dropped or the sentence that he's given is going to be shortened but there is something that makes me feel that he is not going to spend a lot of time further in jail. Spirit makes me feel that he may be on house arrest. I have been fascinated with North Korea. Okay, don't know about R. Kelly. Kind of forgot about the guy. Um, so I don't know if that's the case. Is he in prison? I don't even know that. I don't even know. Last I heard he was going to prison and he was doing the lawsuit and, and all of that. I actually don't know. I don't know what happened there. So there's an amazing woman um, that I found online. Her name is, I think her name is, Yo oh, I'm going to not pronounce it right. Forgive me. I think her name is Yonmi Yon Parks. Yo I'm so sorry. That is not how you pronounce it. But um she is amazing she is a defector who um left well she managed to escape north korea 
and I've been watching her stuff and I feel like I picked up on something for Kim Jong-un also in my last um, predictions and I still pick up on it. I feel like he is going towards his last days. And she has actually recently released videos that actually kind of like match what I'm picking up on, which is that I don't know how she gets her information or how I don't really know, but she must have family still in North Korea, but they are saying, you know, he is going towards the end of his day so yeah not sure on Kim Jong-un or where he stands uh Yonmi Park stopped posting for a little bit of a while and um, she only just recently started posting again I do actually have her book which I'm really trying to build up the emotional um strength to read because I know it's going to be a very emotional read um so yeah not sure about Kim Jong-un uh North Korea still fascinates me and would probably love to do a reading on that again but Will the two keep it up? I don't know. But yeah, I'm not, don't know about that. Okay. And yeah, and funny enough, here we go. The rights of the people are highlighted. This is the year about us all finding our voices, not just individually focusing on ourselves, but also as a collective, standing up for what's right, standing up for ourselves as a collective, standing up for those who are in poverty, standing up for those who don't have the same rights as we do, standing up for those who are not receiving the same justices that we receive. You know, this is about power to the people, us coming together. They have tried so hard with COVID and the, the VAX to divide. Because when you divide, you conquer. Don't let it happen. People have a right to do what they want to do, okay? Allow people to be themselves. Allow yourself to be yourself and allow people to be themselves, okay? You don't have to agree, but you don't have to argue about disagreeing, okay? If we were all the same, if you went online or you walked out of your house and we were all the same, all wearing the same clothes, looking the same, talking the same, doing the same thing, the world would be such a boring place. The world is so incredible because we are all so different. We all are a unique puzzle piece to this big puzzle that is life and we all have a part to play. So don't try and mould people into something you want them to be. If people don't believe the same things you do, accept it with love. That doesn't change your views, it doesn't have to change your views. Just send them love and keep it moving. Like, do you know what I mean? This is about us coming together because for so many years now, they've tried to tear us apart. And when we're torn apart, that's when they can divide and conquer and have control. No more of that. Come together, accept the differences so that we can stand up for what's right. This is what we're moving towards, a more open society. And I... Um, picked up on Lizzo and how amazingly well she connects. She is a real pioneer for making celebrity human. And I've actually put her here, Lizzo and TikTok, we are losing celebrity. Celebrities now is, are not the same. Never before in history have we been able to access our favourite singers, our favourite actors in the same way. Doja Cat's on lives, talking to her fans. Lizzo's on TikTok. And people are in the comments like, oh my god, I almost forget this is a Grammy award or nominated. I'm not sure if Lizzo is an award winner or a nominee. This is a Grammy worthy artist that is here making TikToks. Celebrities are becoming humanised. We are actually going to see the fall of celebrity and the rise of real people. So that doesn't mean that there won't be so I'm going to stop it there because I know where I'm going with this and I've said basically everything. 2022 was absolutely that. 2022 has prepared us to come back together, not to be dominated anymore, but to be the voices for each other, to speak up for our neighbours, to lend to our neighbours, because what's happened is the governments have made us so separate. They've almost, they've almost burnt themselves because they've made us so separate that now we are in being forced into a situation where we do have to help each other but that's a good place to be because it's going to restore community for so many years we lost community where you felt comfortable to go and knock on your neighbor's door or to even talk to people when you would pass them in the street especially where where I'm from like we don't talk to people when we pass them in the street 
you go deeper into London, you don't talk to anyone. That's all slowly starting to break down because we now realise we need each other. We need our community. We need each other. And 2022 has really given us the opportunity to prepare for 2023. 2022 has woke us up to be like, oh, we need each other. We need community. We need um, we need help from one another because those people that we thought we could rely on all those years ago, they don't help us. So now we have to help each other. And I feel like we're really going to see people come together. This year was really about realising that, realising that we need that. And that pyramid that I talked about with the elite on the top and then the celebrities and famous people and then other people at the bottom, it's crumbling. It's crumbling. It's that facade is falling apart and we're just watching like, oh, it doesn't have to be like that. COVID was the real um, starting point of that where, oh, we don't have to work in our offices. We can work from home. Oh, who knew? <laughs> and now 2023 is really about those seeds that we've realised, that we've planted. Oh, we need each other. We need community. We need to help one another out. We need to um work back in that tribal kind of unit 2023 is going to see that blossom what does that look like you know um as we build our new world so yeah 2022 was really about rethinking re-establishing rewiring relaying all of that groundwork all of those foundations rerouting like really rethinking everything and then 2023 i feel is going to be about stepping on those now stepping on those stones of that relayed foundation being in your authentic self because you've rethought who you are so yeah i can't wait to tap into 2023 because i really do get positive vibes from it um but we will do that properly in another video i do hope you enjoyed this recap of 2022 and my 2022 predictions and i will have my 2023 ones with you shortly but if you would like your own personal and private reading with me you can book that over on my website www.kirstylewis.com if you haven't already please do join our lovely community by subscribing down below hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video share for someone you may enjoy because that helps me to continue to make this content and yeah I will see you next time for a new video thank you so much for watching today lovelies take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon bye